one we're going to be looking at Rage Against the Machine's Freedom and this is the uh, monthly winner of the Patreon vote. So over at Patreon every month we have a vote and this one won. They were, again though there were two others that were really close so probably end up doing those as well. Now this one's a beauty, lots and lots of riffs, bit of a solo, not too difficult um, and lots of fills too so let's dive right in shall we? Now we are in drop D tuning so your low E is going to go down to D. <laughs> Tones for this bad boy, I'm going with the um, good old trusty Friedman BAD. Neck pickup. So um, that's pretty much my Mr. Morello tone. Let's go for the first riff, shall we? I played it at the beginning, so I'm just going to cut it into the four ch different chunks that there are, right? So, first chunk goes like this. That's the first fill. So you'll see the pattern is. The length of that may be slightly shorter or slightly longer to just fit the fill in, uh, but generally that's what you're going to play, right? A bar and a half and then some sort of fill. So the main riff slowly is. three whackers there right so it's pretty straightforward I'm using my little finger for the highlights you could do first and third fingers there if you wanted I find first and fourth comfier um, it also means that should you ever need to you can get an uh, adjacent uh, note in there as well so the second riff goes <laughs> Okay, so you've got some little palm mutes there. So first bar is the same. But the second bar goes. And at that point, you go up to the octave and you're going to play chromatically with palm muting. 5, 4, 3, then down the next string. 5, 4, 3. Okay. One other thing is that when you get to the that one is staccato, right? The uh, second time you play that fifth fret. All right, bit of staccato action there. Third fill is cool. Goes like this. Then you got to get up to the. And just do a four notes on the, I think it's 22nd fret there. I know a lot of tellies and you have 21 frets, but this is a special one. All right. And then the last one is. And a rest. Now the verse is cool, but it is tricky. And this is why he's got his guitar up so high, because you've got to do this massive stretch. I didn't think... Um, it was played like this until I saw him playing it live, and this is how he's playing it. So you're covering the fifth fret on the A, D, and G string, and the top two, B and E, you're playing the tenth fret, right? And the uh, 
low G is just open and palm muted throughout, right? And then you're going to use these um, chords as stabs, basically. So you're going to play. The riff goes like this. Okay, that is it. Uh, and there's a few like, so there's a few little fills, but most part, you're going to play. So one, three open, two, then four, and you've got this stab, one, two, one, two. Okay, then you're going to play, that's exactly the same as the first part we played, the first bar, then you've got this, which is basically um, four, fifth fret to fourth fret, and you could just play the D and G string there, maybe the B as well if you wanted. But you're mainly hearing the, the D and G, right? So slide from the fifth to the fourth, then back up to the fifth fret for two, and then two palm mute. Okay? And like I say, there's a fill in the next one. That's just a slide up to aiming for the 12th fret, right? Then there's a little interlude with just, you just play the open D, right? The low D. Uh, then you've got some volume swells after a little while. And I think he's playing the 14th fret on the D and G there. So you pluck it. play 13th fret on the G and B. I think that's what's going on there. Next up we have this double time riff which is very cool. It goes like this. The next two riffs are identical. They're just shifted up into different positions. You play it on the 7th fret and then again I think on the 15th fret. <laughs> into the solo. So let's just show you that quickly. Four on the third fret on the A, then a pull off, fifth fret to the third, and the fifth fret on the uh, D string again. Another pull off, five to three, fifth fret on the low string, and then third fret, fifth fret on the A again. Let's play it slowly. All right, and then you just move it up. And then up to the 15th fret. time you hear then you got this solo which is great it goes back into kind of normal time from double time right so you'll get at the end right but um almost there so you're going to slide up to the 12th fret uh, on the on the d and then play the 10th fret on the g and you um a lot of the phrasing comes in just before the next bar so you'll play 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two. Okay, so every the main notes hitting on um, the beat, but you've got a few little noodly bits just beforehand. That slowly. Um, it's pretty straightforward though. Then you slide up to the tenth fret on the A string, and then you hammer onto the twelfth fret. So you get this. Okay. Then you've got this lick. Okay, make sure you get that bend right. That's all before the first beat of the next bar. You bend up half a step on the first beat of the next bar. So one, two, three. And this next bit is just a series of um, slides, basically. So you're going to play. It's all on the G, this part. So you're going to slide 10 to 12, then 14, 15, 14, which is a triplet. Then you've got 12, 10, 9. So that's slowly. And if you find it's dying a bit, just, you know, pick rather than slide. Then you've got these rakes, which are... Okay, and you don't need to really fret anything there. You could just palm mute them and then just make sure that the, um, the 12th fret on the E sounds out. And the rakes are just before the beat, so it's um, two, three, four... Okay, so that note, that's on the beat. So you're going to be doing the rake just before the beat. So it's two... Three, four. Okay. Now, what you could do, if you're going to get posh, you could play. Okay, so I'm holding that shape there. All right, if you wanted to sound them out, I don't know if he does that actually. Or you could just do 14, 13, 12. That's super easy. So you repeat the first phrase twice. All right. Third time, it's... Which is pretty straightforward. And then you've got that... That lick. Okay. Now, the next riff is awesome. It's like a middle eight, but it's um, actually in 7-4. Um, or a bar of 4-4 four, four and a bar of 3-4, whichever way you want to cut it. It goes like this. <laughs> Badass, isn't it? So you're going to play, again, it's pretty straightforward. It's just the, the rhythmic phrasing that gives it the humph. Five, three, five, three, five. Pause for one semi-quaver, then up one string. With the same phrase. Three, two on the next string down. Then you've got this. You play that three times, right? Pause, and then a little power chord. Single fingered power chord. Let's go for it slowly. Three, four. into slight variation he just does a slide from the fifth fret for the last beat and then you're into the um, the verse again then towards the end I think you've got this 
Um, there's an overdub part, which you might be interested in. It's on the 10th fret on the D. It goes something like this. <laughs> So you can track that in if you want. Slowly, it's just... Pretty cool. And then coming out of the riff, you do have this variance where it goes to the an open D chord. Which is... Okay, so slowly... Quite tricky to get to that chord, so you could just play the um, low open three notes and add that bit later. Outro again is just very badass, it goes like this. It's almost a D blue scale. So five, eight. Five, six, seven. That's all blues. So is the fifth fret on the next string. But there's this extra little note here on the sixth fret on the G. Then it goes to this. That's awesome. Think of it as zero, three. Five, six, seven. All double stops on the um, low D and A, then 10, 11, 12. And I'm just using my first um, three fingers for this. So. Slide up my first. Start that one with your fingers. That's the easiest way, I think, to play it. Then you've got some stabs, just open G chords. again patrons love you guys and everyone else i love you too obviously come on see you all soon bye